Today, I'll be trying to revive my tired S9J so we can get some beefy hash rate on a new Bitcoin project, Bitcoin 2. Thanks to Jason Kidwell for the suggestion. Not saying this is going to make anybody any money as it's still early days. But I've had a look at the project and I'm pretty happy to spend a bit of money on electricity in the hopes that the project gains a bit of traction down the line. So my S9J currently does work, but will shut down after an hour or so of mining without really telling me in the logs why. The temps on the miner are looking OK, so it's going to need a bit of digging to find out what the problem is. Also, I'm not really wanting to buy parts for this, so I'm hoping it's something that can be fixed for free fiddy. Please don't judge the hoover. I couldn't be bothered to set it up outside and blow the dust off with the blower. All right, what I'm going to do is take this apart because I want to see if there's any obvious signs of any issues. And if there is, we can look to sort them. Let's unplug cables first. That's the easiest thing. Oh, it's always the last one. And yeah, I don't know if you guys can remember, but there was a bit of a a dark spot issue with this. But this it actually did run for a while. I had this for a few months, and it was running fine. And then. It decided to stop running after a few hours. All right, time to take a part. Three hash boards. Look at that. Screw size. Let's have a look at how old this is looking inside. might look pretty old it would be amazing if it just needs a little dust in though that is off look at that just that's years of mining dust this is caked on it almost feels a bit like rust boy I wasn't expecting them to slide out like that all right so this is a hash board oh that's cool we've got a little we've got a little fly inside there as well what about you guys that's looking a bit sad and rusty best cleanup job I've ever done in my life right, I'm gonna put this to the side so I don't get all of the crap just onto the next one Wait, what is this? We've got a very old fly. You see that? Hello. What, what are we calling this one, lads? I need me fly picking one. I fix it, it's got everything. And we just get me fly screw up. Oh, I don't want to hurt it. Look at that. Wait, that fly died going through the loudest, probably most vicious death that it could have possibly wanted to. I'm not sure if this is just dirt or if it is rust. I think it might just be dirt. Oh, that looks a bit rusty though. Now if you can see right on the top here. Looking a little rusty. And then these, I'm pretty sure these white bits Oh, corrosion. There's no way that I'm going to be able to fix any sort of corrosion, but I can give it a good little ethanol clean. If 
you're interested in what an S9J looks like on the inside of the shell, it is that. I'm gonna get so grubby after this. As you can see, dirty, dirty. I would say this is not amazingly clean, but but what it was before. Acceptable. Acceptable. So I'll put this to the side. And then I've got like this little strip here that looks a little bit grubby. Looks so good when you give it. Look like it's brand new. That's brand new. Kind of. Right, on to the next one. These signs of corrosion, like here, here, here. I can't see this, there's orangey bits. Let's clean that off and see what it looks like afterwards. Orange. Orange. I need to do this really. I'm definitely going to need a wipe on this. Right, let's put it back together. I was expecting issues with this hashboard though, just based on the color of the pins but it didn't seem to have a problem it's fine that's in they can go back in so we're all cleaned up we're actually on the next day because i set up a bitcoin cash wallet and I haven't set up a wallet for a small coin in a while, so it took way longer than I wanted it to. I need to grab an ethernet cable. That should be okay. I need to get a cow lead. This baby has not started for a, a few months now. I do not know if it will or if it's gonna just blow up, but we'll find out together. Definitely boot in. I've not heard that noise in a long time. Okay, red light's gone. That is nice. I thought I'd broken something off to go then. Well, that we're mining, but that wasn't the problem at the start. The problem was it would mine and then shut off. Right, logging onto the router now to try and find my wired clients, which is the S9J. I've got the IP address and we'll find out if this is actually running. We are mining. This is 50% fans. I feel like it used to be a bit louder than this. And we're running at, we're running at 60 degrees. I've got a one in 12 chance of getting 31 blocks a day which would cost which is about ten dollars but it's just a speculation really isn't it we're not mining it for the live profit we'll be mining it for the speculation of it going up 
as if it was Bitcoin, which is the whole premise of what this is supposed to be. Right, so we have got the Antminer up and running. It seems to be working fine. We're using about a kilowatt of power for this at the moment, and it is currently getting us 12.4 terahash, which is not too bad, but it's definitely mining. And I guess I kind of just have to let it run a bit now and see if this issue of it just shutting off randomly is still going to be there. If it is, then it might be interesting to take hash boards out or just unplug hash boards, see if we can run it on two. Um, I've got other cables. I think that that might be a good start. If I just change the power cables, we'll see how it goes. But at the moment, I've set this to run at 60 degrees and with the fan speed is currently at 46, 47%. And in we are currently at 20 degrees in the shed. It's definitely getting cooler in here. And uh, yeah, it's just a waiting game now. I've got to wait a few hours to see if it's still running. If it is, then I can get this up and running nicely for a, a good while. And we can, we've can we just got something else that we're mining as well. So then we'd have like, we're mining Ravencoin, Kadena, Casper, and Bitcoin too. I've not got my hopes up for Bitcoin too, but I like the idea of starting again. All those people that missed out and why not give it a go? Right, I'm gonna quickly try and swap the cables for these ones. It's not really coming up with any issues on the log, but that's the only thing I can change because that's the only spare part that I actually bought for this. Three. Right, I'm going to plug this back in, test to see if that has made a difference. We'll see if that works. Ah, let's get a coffee. 